Hey guys, I am going to do a review of my first ever jiu-jitsu match. That is me in the white gi. This would have been after about three months of training. I don't think I had any stripes on my belt yet and not really any clue what to do. So you see I here in the closed guard. I have a rough understanding of I don't want to get arm barred here. And I want to open the guard and get to half guard and pass. I think I had used an Ezekiel choke a couple times in training at this point. So that would have been the goal, was get at least a half guard and then, oh boy, I picked him up. Oh, thank goodness I put him down. So I do remember feeling like I opened the guard at some point. And I think just basic, you know, Knee in the middle, exactly, hand on the belt, open the guard, step over, but I didn't understand to stand up or how to keep myself past the guard, so it just recovers every time pretty easily. Oh, I just wanted to squeeze the head. I just remember I wanted to just get, get over one leg and just squeeze that fucking head. And so I bought a new gi just before this because my first gi was way too big for me. And my new gi, the ultralight Vulcan I got just before the tournament, I bought an A2 for some reason, so it was also too big for me. He definitely had a little bit more technique. Well, you can see he's got two stripes on his belt. So he had a more technical guard, throws up an arm bar here gets me a bit into bad position, but I shrug it off like a beast. No technique, really. Ooh, you see Aaron Schindel in the background there. You see that blue belt in the background, Aaron Schindel. Oh, I went for an arm bar. I remember thinking this was super close, but it wasn't actually close. I ended up actually fighting Aaron in the third match because they mix white and blue belts and he ankle locked me quite quickly maybe I will review that one as well so I got back to my closed guard I didn't have a lot of techniques from here you see I'm going deep grip there I do remember a couple times I got his arm across a bit and started to get my chest behind the elbow but didn't know what to do I remember thinking at the time this is a good position, I should be able to do something, but not actually knowing what to do with that arm across. Yeah, I think here, you can see I've kind of pulled it across, and I'm getting in there and hugging, but I don't really, I pause and hesitate, and don't understand how to exploit that. I do remember at because we must be getting towards the end. They're pretty short little matches, but I did hit a flower sweep. No, sorry, a scissor sweep that I was very happy with. Oh boy, I felt so accomplished hitting a real technique in a jiu-jitsu match. And it was just a sub-only match, so no submission. Both of you just move on, and it's a draw. Round robin, so you get lots of matches. I think I had five on the day, so I'm setting it up here getting that cross collar grip sitting up into him and at the time this was hype for me Oy, my first sweep ladies and gentlemen us oh, and then yeah I got on top but didn't have much time and didn't really even have a great position you can see he's got that underhook starting to come around and that's the end of my match us oh,